Futurists say that the 20 and 21st century was born in the head of Nikola Tesla. They celebrate conversely magnetic field and sing hymns to induction's engine. Their creator was called the hunter who caught the light in his net from the depths of earth and the warrior who captured fire from heaven. Father of alternating current will make the physics and chemistry dominate half of the world. Industry will proclaim him as their supreme saint. In the laboratory of Nikola Tesla for the first time is broken atom. There is created a weapon that causes earthquake vibrations. I am a defeated man. I have not accomplished the greatest thing I could. I wanted to illuminate the whole earth. There is enough electricity to become a second sun. Light would appear around the equator as a ring around Saturn. Mankind is not ready for the great and good. In Colorado Springs, I soak the earth by electricity. Also, we can water the other energies, such as positive metal energy. In the Earth's interior, there are energies of great joy, peace, and love. Their expressions are like a flower that grows from the Earth. The food we get out of her, and everything that makes man's homeland. I've spent years looking for the way that this energy could influence people. The beauty and scent of roses can be used as medicine, and the sun rays as food. What a stellar and terrestrial energy to feed the hungry on earth. With what wine watered all thirsty, so they can get cheer in their hearts and understand that they are gods. Another thing is to destroy the power of evil and suffering in which man's life passes. They sometimes occur in the epidemic of the depths of space. Religions and philosophies teach that man can become the Christ, Buddha and Zoroaster. What I'm trying to prove is wilder, and almost unattainable. This is what to do in the universe, so every being is born as Christ, Buddha, or Zoroaster. I know that gravity is prone to everything you need to fly, and my intention is not to make flying devices, aircraft, or missiles, but to teach individual to regain consciousness of his own wings. Further. I am trying to awake the energy contained in the air. There there are main sources of energy. What is considered as empty space is just a manifestation of matter that is not awakened. No empty space on this planet nor in this universe. In black holes what astronomers talk about are the most powerful sources of energy and life. First was energy, then matter. A bolt of lightning can be an entire sonata. A thousand balls of lightning is a concert for this concert. I have created a ball of lightning which can be heard on the icy peaks of the Himalayas. About Pythagoras and mathematics, a scientist may not and must not infringe on these two. Numbers and equations are signs that mark the music of the spheres. If Einstein had heard these sounds, he would not create the theory of relativity. These sounds are the messages to the mind that life has meaning, that the universe exists in perfect harmony, and its beauty, the cause and effect of creation. This music is the eternal cycle of stellar heavens. The smaller star has completed composition and also part of the celestial symphony. The man's heartbeats are part of the symphony on earth. Newton learned that the secrets in the geometric arrangement and motion of celestial bodies. He recognized that the supreme law of harmony exists in the universe. The curved space is chaos. Chaos is not music. Einstein is a messenger of the time of sound and fury. The first requirement is a high awareness of its mission and the work to be done. It must, if only dimly, exist in the early days. When I was 12, 
I had been sure I will get to Niagara Falls. For most of my discoveries I knew in my childhood that I would achieve them. Although not entirely apparent, the second condition to adapt is determination. All that I might, I finished. Guidance for all the vital and spiritual energies in labor. Therefore, purification of the many effects and needs that man has. I therefore have not lost anything, but just gained. So I enjoyed every day and night. The fourth requirement is to adjust the physical assembly with work. First, the maintenance of the assembly. Man's body is a perfect machine. I know my circuit and what's good for him. Bloodstream can be controlled, and many processes in and around us. But, to adjust the physical circuit in addition to food. Dream is very important. From a long and exhausting work, which required superhuman effort, after one hour of sleep, I'd be fully recovered. I gained the ability to fell asleep and wake up in the time which I have designated. If I do something what I do not understand, I force myself to think about it in my dream and thus find a solution. The fifth condition of adjustment is memory. Perhaps in the most people, the brain is keeper of knowledge about the world and the knowledge gained through the life. My brain is engaged in more important things than remembering. It is picking what is required at the given moment. This is all around us. It should only be consumed. Everything we once saw, hear, read, and learn accompanies us in the form of light particles. To me these particles are the obedient and faithful. Go to Spost, my favorite book. I learned in my heart in German as a student, and now it can all recite. I held my inventions for years in my head, and only then I realized them. I might have to thank visualization for all that I have invented. The events in my life and my inventions are real in front of my eyes, visible as each occurrence or the item. In my youth, I was frightened of not knowing what it is, but later I learned to use this power as an exceptional talent and gift. I nurtured it and jealously guarded. I also made corrections by visualization on most of my inventions and finished them that way. By visualization, I mentally solve complex mathematical equations. For that gift that I have, I receive high rank Lama in Tibet. My eyesight and hearing are perfect, and dare to say stronger than other people. I hear the thunder of 150 miles away, and I see colors in the sky that others cannot see. This enlargement of vision and hearing I had as a child, later I consciously developed. The knowledge of how the mental and vital energy transform into what we want, and achieve control over all feelings. Hindus call it Kundalini Yoga. This knowledge can be learned. For what they need many years or is acquired by birth. The most of them I required by birth. They are in the closest connection with a sexual energy that is after the most widespread in the universe. The woman is the biggest thief of that energy and thus the spiritual power. I've always knew that and was alerted. Of myself, I created what I wanted, a thoughtful and spiritual machine. Do everything that any day, any moment, if possible, not to forget who we are and why we are here on earth. Extraordinary people who are struggling with the society which hurts them with its stupidity, misunderstanding, persecution, and other problems which the country is full of, a swamps with insects, leaves behind unclaimed until the end of the work. Lightning are the most beautiful toys that can be found. Imagine one of these gods in a black evening suit, with the bowler hat, and wearing white cotton gloves, 
prepares lightning, fires, and earthquakes to the New York City elite. The trouble is that people are too serious. If they were not, they would be happier and much longer would have lived. Chinese proverb says that the seriousness reduces life. Let's get back to things which they consider important. Life is a rhythm that must be comprehended. I feel the rhythm and direct on it and pamper in it. It was very grateful and gave me the knowledge I have. Everything that lives is related to a deep and wonderful relationship. Man and the stars, Omebus and the sun, the heart and circulation of an infinite number of words. These ties are unbreakable, but they can be tamed and perpetuate and begin to create new and different relationships in the world, and that does not violate the old. This means that there is a general knowledge and truth that man has always possessed. In my feeling and experience, the universe has only one substance and one supreme energy with an infinite number of manifestations of life. The best thing is that the discovery of a secret nature reveals the other. Everything is electricity. First was the light, endless source which points out material and distribute in all forms that represent the universe and the earth with all its aspects of life. Black is the true face of light, only we do not see this. It is a remarkable grace to man and other creatures. One of its particles possesses light, thermonuclear, radiation, chemical, mechanical, and unidentified energy. It has the power to run the earth with its orbit. It is true Archimedean lever. Imagine a gardener who is attacked by herbs. This would indeed be crazy. Man's body and brain are made from a large amount of energy. In me there is a majority of electricity. The energy that is different in everyone is what makes the human. I or soul. For other creatures their essence. Soul of the plant is the soul of minerals and animals. Brain function and death is manifested into light. Do you know, I discovered the rotating magnetic field, an induction mortar, which made me become famous when I was 26. There is lightning and thunder, and they are the brightest and most powerful that will not vanish. I am searching how to preserve human energy. It is forms of light. I have not looked for it for my own sake but for the good of all. I believe that my discoveries make people's lives easier and more bearable and channel them to spirituality and morality. Because the first feature of energy is that it transforms. It is in perpetual transformation as clouds of Taoists. But it is possible to leverage the fact that a man preserves consciousness after the earthly life cosmic pain. It is an illness whose existence the vast majority of people are not aware of. Hence many other illnesses, suffering, evil, misery, wars, and everything else which makes human life an absurd and horrible condition. This disease cannot be completely cured, but awareness shall make it less complicated and hazardous. These truths we must learn in order to be healed. Remedy is in our hearts 